after the break, we'll be bringing you unique works of art that you may have never seen before. Don't touch that dial. Cityscape will be right back. Sydney-based Filipino artist Ed Aragon started out with pencil and paper. Now, he moves on to something a little more interesting. It's called the UV reactive paint. And he has a beautiful exhibit entitled Under a Different Light, and it's currently at the Ucheco Museum. And to tell us more about it, we have Carla Martinez. She's the Information Associate of the Ucheco Museum. Thanks so much for having us today, Carla. Thanks so much. Before we go into the actual art of Ederba, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the artist. How did you mm -hmm. find him? Because he's all the way in Sydney, and yet you managed to get a whole exhibit out of mm -hmm. him in the Ucheco Museum. Well, um, Ed Aragon, the featured artist, is a friend of the museum, mm -hmm. and uh, his last exhibit in Manila was sometime in 2008, and wow. for quite some time he was uh, mulling another reunion show, okay. so it was a natural choice that he exhibit here with us. So the exhibit in 2008, was it the same concept, or did he do something different then? Was it also about the UV reactive paint? No, it was, a, it was also about... I mean, also using UV reactive mm -hmm. paint, but with a different concept, different subject matter. This time, it's all about women, um, photos, archival photos of women, women in his life, or about the female figure. Yes. Okay, so before we talk about what exactly is in it, let's talk about his, his UV, his UV, UV paint. Paint. It's called UV paint, because it's also partly the star of the whole exhibit. Mm -hmm. I know that he actually, you can buy it, you can buy UV paint, although he created his own with a chemist friend mm -hmm. of his. And then how did he come to work with that? It started about a few years ago, in mm -hmm. 2004. Okay. He, there was a restaurant in Sydney that um, asked him to paint some murals. And one of the unique features of that restaurant was that it was blacklit. Okay. Now there were, there were UV lights, so we thought, okay, how do you... How do you decorate this restaurant with this different, with this special kind of light? So right. that's when he thought, how about paintings that would show under UV light? So he asked a friend to help him create the pigments and started painting the murals. And since then, he's been experimenting with that kind of paint. So he's experimented with it for a few years. Mm -hmm. And so this particular exhibit that he has is with a UV paint yeah, really really great. Great. although he's not having a different kind of subject matter right and this particular one as you spoke about earlier was more about the women in life and but so why is it called under a different light it reflects um to perhaps some it means something literal yes which is the like, uv the uv reaction yes yeah, at the same literally under a different light mm -hmm. under uv but light under black light uh -uh. but at the same time it gives people a chance to look at Ed Aragon, at this artist, under a different light. Because in Sydney, he's known as a cartoonist, as a caricaturist. For the newspaper, right? Yes, for, for, the, for, for the Sydney Morning Herald, for mm -hmm. a newspaper. And that's how he started in the Philippines as well. Yes, he's, uh, he's, his career is really in so cartooning. Kind of paper and and oh. then he pursues um, painting as a... I should say it's a pastime. Yeah. But I guess artists always progress. They probably start out with one thing and then of course mm -hmm. they have to experiment with different yeah, like, things. Um, he's also into digital art also. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists are into that now because I guess they're all moving into the you know, 21st century yeah, as well. Me. So Ed Aragon already has become a very famous artist in Sydney, hasn't mm -hmm. he? Yes. In Australia, he's, he's actually quite popular. Like there was this postcard series called Our Famous Australian. Mm -hmm. He created the entire postcard series. It's, it's all about it's caricatures of famous Australians and then he they, they were printed into postcards which people could collect. But I'm sure that's not UV. No, no, it's not UV. <laughs> he used his, his yeah. usual cartoon yeah, skills. But, but that's the side that he's really known for right but well with this UV, this one's a different right. side to him with this uv reactive paint um, exhibit you were talking about him using a lot of different women 
Was there anyone in particular that he, he spoke of really fondly in the exhibit? Is, does he have a favorite one? I did see one of Maria Magdalena. Yeah, it's one of the paintings in the gallery. What's interesting about the exhibit is that it really showcases all um, different kinds of women. Mm -hmm. like his, he even has a portrait of his own mother carrying him as a child. I didn't see that one. I'm going to go back and look for that one. <laughs> um, there are also photos of Kalinga and Bontok women, mm -hmm. which he yes, used yes. as inspiration for a UV painting. Mm -hmm. And um, so also invited a Filipino Australian Australian women to to pose for him as a, as a portrait. And how was the reception of the Filipino audience to this particular mm -hmm. exhibit? Did they did they like it a lot? Because it's really something that's different. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never seen something like yeah. it. And it's always nice to see a new form of art. So was it I'm sure really was amazed well. by the, the fact that you can use UV and that under regular light, you couldn't see it, yes. but under this special backlight UV light. That's when the magic happens. Right. The only way you can see it is if you have a black light. So how's that? If you do buy it, <laughs> you have the installation in your in your house. Well it's it being be sold. Um and some people have in, um, inquired about the mm -hmm. paintings. In that case they can um, contact the artist directly. Okay. Let's talk about the setup that you had to do mm -hmm. in the Yuchenko Museum yeah, for this had particular guests to ask about that also. Particular display because obviously it has to be focused on black light. Mm -hmm. So what's the setup that you have here? Yes. Um, like the, the gallery is um, we had to make especially dark so people could really see the contrast between mm -hmm. darkness and the UV light. Cause, um, for people who have been have been to previous exhibits at the museum, the gallery is usually so so bright. Right. And um, of course, see, we had to especially install black lights so that you can see see the paintings. But rather than just put black light everywhere so that and then okay that's it you can see the paintings we thought it'd be nice if people could see the different the contrast and, yeah the, if you mm -hmm. when you see it and when you don't so we thought of having that this black light tower with that's spinning almost or around strobe light. <laughs> yeah, like, a, like a strobe light or a yeah. disco light spinning around the gallery so that you can stand there and enjoy the paintings and then just watch the light go by. Yes. Really, really beautiful. And until when is it? Because yeah. a lot of our viewers would probably want to come yeah. and check well, it out. It's on view until April 20. Okay. So, so there's still about one more month. We to have a good it, month yes. to go because it's really just a very something that I've never really seen before, and I'm mm -hmm. sure people will appreciate it when they get to see it because I'm sure like they'll be seeing it on TV. But it's so different when you're actually standing mm -hmm. there. And when it comes to it. to art or going to museums, nothing beats seeing the real thing. That's it's so much different in, in a book or online but, or on TV. But if you see, you know, there's nothing beats the actual Spoken like a true lover. <laughs> well, apart from, of mm -hmm. course, Ed Argonne's beautiful exhibit, there are so many things happening in the Yuchenko mm -hmm. Museum for 2011. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give us a rundown of what you guys have in store for everybody. So there's our master's gallery at the ground floor, which has works by national artists and esteemed artists like Juan Luna. And later in the year, sometime in June, we're opening a exhibit <coughs> about Rizal. Okay. So Rizal is celebrating his 150th birthday this year. Maybe, maybe you can invite everybody birthday. to come check you guys out here at the Yuchenko mm -hmm. Museum. Because it's always good to, you know, it's a nice thing over the weekend mm -hmm. or when you have time to just check out some pieces of art. Mm -hmm. So we'd like everyone to Come to the Yuchenko Museum at RCBC Plaza at the corners of Ayala and Buendia. If you want to learn more about um, the Yuchenko Museum or about under different light, you can call us at 889-1234 or visit our website at yuchenkomuseum.org. Thanks so much for having us, Carla. Uh, thanks so much. Such Thank a you. beautiful museum. Oh, you're you very welcome. And all the best. <laughs> for comments, suggestions, or you want to see something on Cityscape, Email us at cityscape.anc at gmail.com or look us up on Facebook. And that's it for this week. Join me again next time as we discover the best of the city scene. I'm Lexi Schultz. Thank you for watching Cityscape.